In the last video, I spoke about zooming in on an area of interest. While useful, I think that a lot of zooming in and out can become a bit tiresome for the viewer. So instead, I often like to keep the background of the canvas fixed and have the item pop out at the viewer. This has some similarities to zooming in. Again, make sure that the video segment showing the area of interest is on the uppermost video track in the timeline. This time, however, instead of zooming in on this segment, we are going to start by duplicating the segment. To do this, begin by positioning the playhead at the beginning of the video segment. Right-click on the segment and select Copy. Right-click on the segment again and select Paste. A duplicate segment will appear on another track. If necessary, click and drag the duplicate to a track above the track containing the original segment. If no track is available, right-click to the left of the track and use Insert Track to add a track above. If the new segment is not already selected, select it by clicking on it. Using the cropping tool, you will now reduce the new video segment to just the area of interest. Above the canvas, click on the crop icon. Click and drag the hook points on your canvas until you have limited it to just your area of interest. To make this reduced area more visible, I often like to add a border and a drop shadow. To add a border, on the left side of the screen, click on Visual Effects. From the menu, click and drag Border onto the duplicate video segment on the timeline. In the properties to the right of the canvas, you will now be able to specify the color and line thickness for the border. The Visual Effects menu also includes Drop Shadow. Click and drag Drop Shadow from the menu to the duplicate video segment on the timeline. Properties area will now contain a series of settings that dictate the appearance of the drop shadow. Just play around with them until you find something that works for you. At this point, you'll want to use the Scale Up tool, which I discussed in the previous video, to make your area of interest pop out against the background. Again, adjust the start and stop times and the properties until you achieve the desired effect. At some point, you will no longer want to emphasize this area of interest. In other words, it will cease to be of interest. You have a couple of options. First of all, you could use the split tool above the timeline to split the video segment and simply delete the part after the split. As you can see, when you play this back, this results in the area of interest disappearing very abruptly. Therefore, I will undo that deletion and show you some alternatives. One of these involves the use of the Scale Down tool, which was described in the previous video. As described earlier, you could use this to cause the video segment to revert to its original size and position. Instead, I'm going to introduce you to another tool, No Opacity. If it is not already open, on the left side of the screen, click on Animations and then click on the Animations tab. From the menu, click and drag No Opacity to the video segment in the timeline. Adjust the sorted stop times by clicking and dragging the dots at the ends of the arrow. When you play it back, you will see that the video segment now fades from sight. At this point, since you are effectively done using this video segment, you may want to use the split tool to separate and delete the rest of the segment. In the next video, I will discuss some other tools that, while perhaps somewhat less spiffy, can also be perfectly effective in drawing attention to an area of interest.